hey guys so today i'm going to be doing a first impressions on the le chocolat liquid lipstick collection by l'oreal so i've purchased two of these i've gotten number 842 which is this pinky kind of color and also 852 which is more of like a brownish grayish color i can't remember if i anti-hauled these or if i said i wasn't going to get them i think that was what i basically said in like a new releases video like that i wasn't really looking to get these but then i saw them in the store and i was kind of like okay i actually want to try these out these are 7.99 sterling i'm not too sure how much that translates to in us dollars but there were 7.99 in superdrug now these are supposed to be ultra matte liquid lipsticks and they also are supposed to smell like chocolate and they are 7.6 mil and they have a 24 month shelf life so what I'm going to do is try both of them on, first without liner and then with liner. So I have swatched both of these. Hold on. I have swatched both of these in store using the testers that they had. So this is what the applicator looks like. I absolutely love this doe foot. It's like a diamond shape. And it smells like chocolate, but it smells like fake chocolate. So I'm going to go ahead and try this on. Okay, so my first thoughts on this is that I love the way that the applicator applies the lipstick to the lip because it has such this diamond shape. It makes it very, very precise. I'm able to go in from the top corner and swipe down. It's like I'm able to control the applicator and the lipstick going on my mouth. And it works the same way for my cupid's bow as well i'm able to control it and i'm able to apply the, the liquid lipstick exactly to the place where i want it to go i can smell the chocolate it's so pungent i can smell the fragrance and i actually really like this shade without the without a lip liner and there's not a lot of shades that i like without lip liner like i i always wear a lip liner regardless of what color i'm wearing whether or not it's nude whether it's brown whether it's red whether it's pink whether it's purple it doesn't matter what i wear i always wear a lip liner but this i feel like i can get away with not wearing a lip liner and it would i would look at myself and not feel strange okay the formula itself is just feeling really really sticky I don't feel like it's drying down. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes and then I'm gonna come back because normally by now, a liquid lipstick would have dried down, but this one has not dried down. So I'll be back in a moment. So it's been about 10 minutes. It's still a little bit tacky. It's not as sticky as it was before, but it's still a bit tacky. Right. My other liquid lipsticks don't do that. They are matte. So I would find that when I'm talking, if I was to say things like mum, like mum, mum, that initial pressing of the lip, it just feels really strange. It's not unbearable, don't get me wrong. It's not unbearable. Like I've seen worse on camera, but it just doesn't feel like my other liquid lipsticks. Anyway, so I'm gonna take this one off. I'm gonna show it to you with liner because I always do liner first. I don't ever do liner after I've applied the lipstick. So using my favorite brown pencil, I'm gonna go around. Mm. 
yeah I definitely prefer it with the lip liner definitely I think it's because I slightly overdraw my lips it just to me it just looks so much better but whatever your preference is just go with it girl so now I'm gonna try out the pinkier color which is um, 842 candy man the other one was um, 852 box of chocolates so they've got a number and a name the exact same smell the exact same doe foot okay i really like this shade and i feel like it complements my eyeshadow thing going on although i've got to say that number one it doesn't remind me in any way shape or form of chocolate aside from the smell on top of that i kind of feel like it went on a little bit patchy it wasn't as opaque as the box of chocolates one which is a little bit disappointing and i'm still having that same problem where it's not drying down very quick but i'm going to try it with a lip liner and we'll go from there yeah again same situation i definitely prefer how it looks with a lip liner okay so i need to make an update to the to this video i had already shot the ending and my final thoughts and all of that and this is now the next day i'm wearing the same shirt for continuity okay so i decided basically this morning about 6 30 okay what i'm gonna do is i'm going to wear the lipstick see how it holds up during the day and this is how it has held up and I have to say I'm really really impressed I'm gonna just talk through my day like really briefly so I put it on about 6 30 I found that around half 9 10 it was matte in the center and still a little bit tacky on the edges and it probably wasn't until about 11 that I felt that it was truly matte and that the stickiness had gone i've eaten fried chicken chips or fries as you call it in the states i've had things to drink and it literally barely moved the reason why i say barely is because right here there's a little bit missing which i would expect from any lipstick or liquid lipstick that is the area where they tend to disappear from first but right now it's like six o'clock in the evening and I haven't had to retouch. I didn't even bring it to bring it with me to work for me to be able to retouch it. But it has not moved at all, aside from that little bit in the in the middle. So I'm really impressed. Don't get me wrong; it's not looking as fresh and sharp as it did when I first applied it. But the fact that it actually stayed on my mouth and. I didn't have to put anything on. I didn't have to take it off during the day because it was getting too patchy or crumbly. I didn't have to retouch it at all. I'm just really impressed with that. Now, again, the name Ultramat, I still I don't I still feel like it doesn't really fit the actual product because it takes forever for it to become completely mattified. I mean, as I said, I put it on at 6 30 and it took hours before it became completely matte. Like I could feel the stickiness around the edges a few hours later. And what I feel that they should have called it was like ultra stay or super stay, something like that, because it has stayed put for basically 12 hours. So I think instead of them marketing it as ultra matte, I think they should have marketed it more as like a ultra stay, super stay kind of, or like a ultra long wear something like that rather than ultra matte because that is just not true <laughs> i'm so sorry but it's just not but overall i am just so happy with the way that it has held up throughout the entire day so that being said do i feel like it is worth eight pounds i think that it is worth eight pounds on the basis that it lasts as long as it does i don't feel that it's worth eight pounds on the fact that it takes 
forever and a day for it to dry down and that it was called ultra matte when it's not that's just my thoughts and opinions on it the smell i found that once i had gone outside i found that i couldn't really smell it but that's because we have the wind and the air and whatever i guess just like wafting the smell away and i've kind of like stopped to try and see if i can smell it and i can't so i feel like after i went outside half an hour later the smell had basically gone so those aren't my thoughts on the l'oreal le chocolat ultra matte liquid lipsticks if you get these or if you have already gotten them please let me know what you think of them down below i'd love to know what you think whether or not i'll buy more i don't know i might but i'm not 100 sure at this moment in time anyway so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe put me on notification and i'll see you in the next one